When I moved to this country when I was eight years old, I babysat um, a little kid on my street, and his father was a surgical oncologist, and um, he was nice enough to take me into his operating room at a very young age. And uh, I remember the first case was this huge colorectal surgery, and I thought it was the coolest thing. So the, after that, I was sold. Most people who come to see me have diseases of the head and neck with a thyroid gland, a parathyroid gland. So they'll notice something or their primary care physician notices a growth in their neck and then they get further work up, um, which includes an ultrasound, physical exam, and uh, sometimes a biopsy of these nodules or lesions. And then some of these lesions will end up having to go to surgery. We work with our endocrinologists just right next door. We share our same offices, we share patients. Um, so that's where most of our referrals come from. And um, we are very good at diagnosing and treating these patients. So um, when they come, they have some of the workup done already. If not, then we will complete that workup. So we try to make it what we call a one-stop shop uh, where we'll do everything, all the work up there. And if they do need to schedule surgery, then um, we will do that um, along with our consultation. When I was young and watching these surgeries, I just thought, oh, what a cool thing to do, you know? Never really thought about, you know, what it really meant as a person actually changing someone's life or, you know, holding the scalpel or making, you know, making, making a difference. But now when I'm in the operating room, you know, it's, it's somebody's mother or it's somebody's family member that I have to remember. Uh, so I'm very humbled and, and um, and I feel lucky that I can, I can do that for them.